Casey Chilby and you're watching The Spot. I'm here today with Manisha Todd, who's the co-leader of Fossil Free UOW. Manisha, tell me about the organisation. Uh, well, thanks for having us here, Casey. So Fossil Free UOW is the campus divestment campaign that is campaigning for uh, UOW to divest from the fossil fuel industry. Mm -hmm. uh, so we believe that it's unconscionable for uh, an institution that's charged with educating the leaders of the future to be investing in an industry that is really contributing to the destruction of the environment. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we've heard a lot about climate change and the devastating impacts that that's going to cause. The scientists have let us know that if we are going to achieve um, our Paris climate goals of 1.5 degrees warming, we can no longer continue to extract and burn fossil fuels. Um, so we think that it's hypocritical as well for the uni to be um, continuing to invest in an industry that's that's contributing to climate change. Yeah, and so you've organised an event here at University of Wollongong today. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that event. So uh, we have a petition that is asking the UAW um, to divest from fossil fuels and uh, today we actually delivered uh, the petition to his um, executive assistant. So that was 1,000 signatures that we had. Um, we also had an art installation. So we um, set up on the McKinnon lawn uh, 1,000 X's mm -hmm. or crosses representing um, the vast community support that we have for divestment um, and representing the signatures that we have, um, which we then delivered. Yeah, and so really, what, why is it so important to get uh, UAW fossil free? Yeah, so um, I guess, as I mentioned earlier, we think that it's, um, it doesn't match in terms of the moral um, standing that the university should um, uphold as an educational institution that's supposed to be leading um, the educators and, e sorry, educating the leaders of the future um, and promoting you know, they do promote sustainability um, programs on campus and engage with thing these things, but on the other hand, behind the scenes, they're kind of investing in this industry that is, um, you know, like I said, contributing yeah. to the destruction. So um, we just think that it's really important to take some action. Um, we're not receiving that action from the top at this stage um, and climate change has officially arrived. Um, yeah. The government, there was a government committee recently that looked into it and said that it's an existential threat to the um, national security of Australia. So it's uh, not just something that's for the environment, but it's actually going to affect human lives and our lives. Right. It's also a very poor economic decision as well. So there's also been research showing that um, you know there's not a lot of economic sense to continue. Um, investing in fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to add as well, this is actually part of a broader international campaign. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, over 800 companies, institutions, banks and things worldwide have committed to, be, to divesting, mm -hmm. um, totaling over 6 trillion US dollars, um, which is amazing. And I think when you put it in that context, UAW seems, it seems a little bit like, why haven't you done it already? This is clearly, I think, the future and where the world is heading. And universities should really be leading um, the future rather than following. Um, in Australia, uh, we have over 35 cities, council mm -hmm. cities, um, banks and things that have um, committed to divesting and also a handful of universities as well, um, seven universities. So we'd like you know, um, UAW to be one of those. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us today. That was great. And uh, that's the spot. <laughs>